Hey everyone, I'm Pierre. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Face Off. If this is your first time here at Pureology, welcome and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be comparing the i9 13900K versus the i5 13600K. I think the reason you're probably here is because there's a large price difference between these two chips. There's not a lot known about their gaming performance and you want to see how they stack up against each other. So I'm not going to bore you with hardware stats or anything like that. You prob you're probably already familiar with all of that. I'm going to list the basic specs of the setup here and then you can see the full system specs in the video description below. Now during this testing I was using Team Group T4 Delta RGB sticks. They are SK Hynix A dies. They're rated at 7200CL34. I got it up to 7600CL36 on the 13900K. It was running all day, no issues. The 13600 could only maintain 7000CL34 consistently. I could get it to boot and play games for a little bit at 7400 actually, but it would crash pretty regularly after about 30 minutes to 40 minutes of playing. So what I'm going to do is show you side by side footage of the two chips in action on Lighthouse and EFT and then afterwards I'm going to do a statistical comparison and share my final thoughts.
Okay, so as you can see, some pretty large performance differences here between the two chips. The main ones I want to point out, FPS average was about 20% higher on the 13900K. It was more than 20% higher on the FPS max, but that number can be a little bit wonky to go by. But I think the gap is something to mention. In terms of CPU temp and power, that's pretty much what I was expecting. It has a couple more cores that are really working during gaming than the 13600. And I know that it draws a lot more power. And you can see the difference is very large there, over 30%. But it's also providing a lot more performance. In terms of the GPU, the GPU ran a little warmer on the 13900K. I think because it wasn't bottlenecked as much, so it also allowed it to draw more power, about 10% more. So overall, the 13900K cost a little over twice as much, and running the same GPU and RAM, it looks like it can give you about 20% more performance at about 30% more power, and that's actually not bad considering when you're at the top of gaming performance, every percent will cost more and more. So to me, if you're looking for max performance, 13900K, at least in my experience so far, is capable of delivering more at a higher cost, obviously. If you're looking for more bang for the buck, then the 13600K performs very well. However, I don't really know if it's worth it over a 5800X3D, which I feel like might perform on the same level. But I'm going to do a comparison of the two pretty soon. So if this content was helpful to you and you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and have a great day. Thanks.